It has been a very long time since I've vlogged anything. We are lucky enough to be able to get a behind the scenes look at Trodat. So they have a division called Trocraft. And Trocraft is one of the companies that imports many fun things into our country. So it's going to be nice to go to the supplier themselves and see what it looks like and maybe find out a little bit more about the company. And I'm super grateful that they've created this open day and I've managed to get myself a spot on the open day to be able to go and see behind the scenes. But before we go behind the scenes, I need to get ready. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to get some work done beforehand, but at least now I'm all ready. My hair looks decent, even though it's really dirty. <laughs> Thank heavens for dry shampoo. I do have a few errands to run before going to Trodite, so I'll see you there. have made it to Trodat, as you can see there, and they have some specials going on, which is quite fun. So there's a table in the middle, in the front, just as you walk in, and you can get a paper pack and some embellishments and whatnot for 300 rand, and then a whole bunch of papers for like three rand each, essentially, which is pretty awesome. So let's take a look and see what they have. It is in observatory, it's something that they want to do a little bit more regularly, so we're hoping that this one goes well. Fingers crossed, holding thumbs. <laughs> okay, so here, things on these two paper racks are 300 Rand for 100 sheets. So it works out to about 100 Rand, a three Rand a sheet. And of course, ESCOM gives us the middle finger, so we've got to have little lamps and lights up on the side but luckily we can still see That event was so much fun. For me, the recap of the event was, it was so chaotic in the beginning because kind of everybody obviously arrived a little bit early slash on time and we all kind of went in at the same time and it was like this massive flurry of people. So I think that if they had to like stagger the way that people arrive or the time that people went in, that would have been better. But it's also, it's the first time they're doing something like this. so. It's the perfect opportunity to gauge how these things go, figure out what we could do differently next time. So I'm very excited for the next time to see what they're going to do and how they're going to change it. And there were some incredible specials like you guys saw. I didn't really get very much vlog footage of it because there were too many people and I kind of get overwhelmed and I kind of freeze up and like those kinds of things. And it's like, it's very draining. <laughs> For me, so when I got home after having gone to my scrap and chat afterwards, I was completely flattened um, and I was even kind of still recovering yesterday because I used yesterday's spoons for Wednesday. And if you understand the spoon analogy, then yeah, basically you have a certain number of spoons to spend in a day. And if you spend spoons from tomorrow, then you're on like basic tasks and things like that, then you're kind of like depleted. It goes a lot more in-depth, but I mean, that's, this is not about that. So, 
it was awesome to be able to see all of the products because shopping on a store is fine on an online store is fine but they don't you you sometimes you can't see the color differences you can't see all of those things so i'm very excited to see how it's going to pan out for the next one and very often like going into places like p a is also great but you've got a really for us in like the crafting space p a is more gauge more geared towards your bigger audiences so like your moms teachers kids all those kinds of things when it came to going to trocraft there are like literally i could have gone in there and just done this to the shelf next shelf next into my look there's so many things there that i want they have the simon hurley Lumin luna paste which i have a few of i don't have all of the colors i kind of just picked and choose chose a few colors they have so many amazing things that I really want. All of like the stickles, they've got liquid pearls, like I said, the, the lunar paste, um, distress inks, distress oxides, alcohol inks, stamps, all of these things that I use on a daily basis. So for me to go there was awesome to be able to buy, see all of the things that I want to buy. So I hope that they do it again with the scrapbook shop owners. It'll be a case of, you know, as an example, Scrapfinity will have their Trocraft day and you will go there with Juliet from Scrapfinity or, you know, whoever decides to do it and you will buy things from, essentially from Juliet at Trocraft. So it won't be like, you can't go in there, it's not a retail store. You'll have to go in there with a representative or with somebody who is a, a scrapbooking shop owner which is also very nice because to go to the supplier directly and kind of bypass the, the, sh the scrapbooking shops isn't what I would want to do in that kind of scenario. The scrapbooking shops are struggling as it is and to go directly to the supplier for the general public is not always the best um, way to help support our local scrapbooking shops that have put hours and days and months and years worth of effort into it so I know that that's not what they're intending to do they're intending to kind of help the scrapbooking shops or at least I hope that that's the intention to help the scrapbooking shops get more business help with their clients that kind of thing so I'm very excited to see how it turns out um, and I will definitely be supporting that again in the future so I'm very excited but the one thing that I was impressed with was a goodie bag Every person that went there got a goodie bag with their purchase. Who is trying to phone me? Oh, hold on. Organ Donor Foundation. Apologies, that was the Organ Donor Foundation. Um, I signed up to be an organ donor. I think it was like two days ago or something like that and they just phoned me now to like confirm my details and things like that. So if you haven't signed up to be an organ donor yet, obviously not sponsored or anything, but please consider maybe one of your family friends may be in an accident one day and they may need an organ and somebody else would have signed up to be an organ donor and they would help your family member to live so it's very important to me um, and I can't believe that I'm 34 and I haven't done it yet better now than never anyway we were talking about the goodie bags so the goodie bag um, they spoke about I was honestly expecting to get like two pieces of paper or like a sticker sheet or something like that. But what they actually ended up giving was 4,000 times or 7,000 times better than what I expected. This is the goodie bag. Look at all of that paper. Look at that. There were, there's almost 30 sheets of paper in here. There was 27 or something like that. There was 10 sheets of the one, of one pack, 12 sheets of another Penelope D. Obviously Penelope D is all produced locally in South Africa, but it's the most gorgeous paper. So we got 10 pages, I think, or 12 pages of the Rose Garnet collection. So that's this one. It's so beautiful and I cannot wait to fussy cut this. So we got like, it's enough to make, I wouldn't say like an album, um, but you could definitely make like a layout, uh, several layouts or something like that. Maybe like a mini a small album. But it's just, it's such pretty paper. You know, so there's these pages and then it's got that on the back. 
and some more layout pages. It's just literally like a whole stack. And it's again, it's not it's not la the latest paper packs. It's probably old paper packs that they haven't been able to sell. But still, you know, they could easily sell this. <laughs> and they ended up giving it to us in a goodie bag for free. For free. And then the other paper pack they gave us was Out and About by Penelope D. So it's this beautiful, like, purpley type paper. Absolutely stunning. And again, I think we got about 10 sheets of this. We got three of the fussy cut pages and then some of the layout pages. Um, and then, like, just look at how stunning that paper is. It's just, it's so pretty. We've got one of those. And then, like, these little polka dotty type pages with these on the back. And then it's got this, like, ombre ish effect on the back of the fussy cut page, which always drives me a little bit nuts. I'm glad it's it's a relatively muted page on the back because cutting the fussy cut pages always gives me anxiety because of what's on the back. Like, I generally like what's on the back and I don't like it when I have to cut that up. So that was another one that we got. Um, and then we got some Bow Bunny pages as well, which were just like some bright, colorful kind of paper. Very pretty. Again, almost definitely just older paper that hasn't been sold in a while, but again, it's paper that I didn't have and I got it for free. So uh, it's just, it's, the generosity for me was incredible. And then we got this little sticker sheet pack thing. They gave us this as well. It's from the Blue Bell pack. And we then got two chalk inks. Very cool. And then a little pack of like embellishment-y type thingies. They're like acrylic disc. Struggling to focus, but it says your only limit is you. So there's a bunch of them and then like it has this acrylic sentiment which says beautiful. And some of these domed acrylic sentiment type thingies. Again, these are probably quite expensive as well. These are probably like a hundred rand a pack or something like that. Again, I have no idea what the actual cost of these ones are, is, is are, whatever. But that was all in the goodie bag. <laughs> and I don't know if the goodie bag is going to be the same every time for, you know, future open days or event days or something like that. But I was very impressed. And the last thing I wanted to talk about were the staff. The ladies that were working there, like very often when you get these open days, especially when there's, now these ladies are used to working, I would imagine, I mean, I'm obviously speaking purely from speculation, are used to working probably just with each other and having orders and having couriers pick up or maybe the occasional shop owner come in. It's not a very busy environment for them, I, I would imagine. I mean, maybe some days there might be a couple of shop owners that come in at the same time, but there were lots of people there. There were 12 of us, it, and as you would have seen, it's a small room. There's not very much going on there. And ESCOM decided to grace us with their presence, or decided to remove their presence, rather, um, from the event. And they weren't flustered at all. They were so gracious and so kind and so helpful. Like, I felt not once did I feel unwelcome, not once did I feel like they were doing me a favor, not once did I feel like I was being a pain by asking them a question. I felt like, like they were excited to help me. They were excited to have us there. They were really looking for, it's like, you know, you know that feeling when you go in somewhere and you can immediately feel, oh, I shouldn't be here or I shouldn't be doing this or somebody's in a bad mood. I mean, granted, everybody's allowed to have a bad day, several bad days, but that wasn't the, the case at all when I went to, to Trodat. It was, it was so refreshing to have such an incredible group of ladies that were excited about their job. Like, I love working with people that are excited about their job. So I was absolutely loving being there. To the ladies that were there, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You really made my day. 
you were excited to share your job with me. You were excited to share your space with us. You were excited to tell us about what things that you guys have to offer. And like, you have no idea how far that goes when it comes to being in somebody's space, in somebody's work environment, especially on a Saturday and especially under the pressure that you guys, oh wait, no, it was a Wednesday. Yes, it was Wednesday, sorry. <laughs> Especially in the middle of the week then. It was just an absolute pleasure to be in your presence and to have met you all. You ladies all deserve medals. Um, the fact that they had to ring up the papers individually because the system wasn't set up for the kind of sale almost that we were doing. They, the paper packs were, it was 300 Rand for 100 sheets and you had to ring them up individually and like change the prices and the fact that she didn't get flustered at all while doing this when there was 12 people standing in a queue and she was doing it for like three hours straight I would have been flustered five minutes in <laughs> so I'm just so grateful and so happy to have been there anyway enough blabbing I want to show you what I bought so I bought um, a few things as well I bought a pack of stamps now these are obviously Penelope D stamps as well. They're Monsteras, duh. Because, I mean, I'm a sucker for Monsteras. And then along with that, oh, these are upside down. I bought two packs of the laser cut elements. They're exactly the same. Very cute. No idea what I'm going to use them for, but that's not the point. I don't need that negativity in my life. Then I also bought this Penelope D uh, poly photo polymer stamp set and isn't it just gorgeous I just I'm obsessed with this flower and all of these little leaf elements and everything it is so pretty I don't even know which range this belongs to I might need to actually find out which range it belongs to so that I can see if I can get that set as well the paper pack uh, that's my invoice and then I bought some paper so there were only two pages of this left, so I bought that, and it has that on the back. So basically with the paper, what my idea is, is to do a Cricut workshop with it. So that's why I bought like a bunch of different pages, um, but it's uh, several of them. So I just thought this was so cute, and it has that on the back. And then the Jelly Teddies, and then it has just pink striped page on the back I bought a bunch of those as well I think I bought about 10 10 of those so quite a few and then this I was just obsessed with the actual paper and I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's got kind of a, a grain to it it's like a watercolory type paper feel you can see it's not it's not smooth like normal paper and it's very pretty the actual things on it and then it's got strawberries at the back this is gonna be nice for like cards so I thought that maybe we could do like a card class as well so I bought a couple of those and then this is just a uh, the same range just slightly different card thingies and then it's just got these like little pheasants at the back or I don't know what kind of bird they are but they're cute so I bought a couple of those and then this is also the same kind of paper very cute, a little bit of a tartan at the back, and then of course my fun plant lady things, so a little cacti, and then it's just got little pluses at the back, again bought a couple of those, this is also going with the same range, very cute, and then just black and white checkers at the back, and then a little bit more of a blank, so it's just got these like tiled plants and then a little bit of a checker at the back and then I actually didn't see these my friend actually ended up gifting these to me thank you Natalie when we were back at the scrap and chat looking at all of our spoils um, she managed to get a few of these and she gave me two well she gave me one and I took a second one with her knowing full well that I took it because I can't only have one <laughs> She had like, she had a bunch. She had, it's not like she had three and I took two of them. She had like ten and I took two of them or something like that. But yeah, these are actually stickers so you can actually just peel them off. You can peel them off the sticker sheet just like that. Very cool. Now I'm going to put that one back. 
So I've got two of those. And then my obsession with Cafe Bloom deepens because when I cut up these pages for these little title cards, I didn't realize that this was on the back. And it may not be everybody's favorite, but I really liked it and I wanted to have it represented in my, uh, which side am I moving to now? Whatever, the, the mini album that I made. So I just bought two of those pages so that I could use that sheet. And that was it, that's everything that I bought. I was very, I kept myself in ho. I kept myself in, uh, direct translation. I reined myself in from not buying everything because otherwise I would have bought liquid pearls. They didn't have any solar paste, luckily, otherwise that entire range would have gone home, would have gone home with me. I really wanted more stamps, but I just can't justify buying stamps at the moment. Um, I need to not spend as much money, especially because I'm going to be spending some money, more money finalizing my craft room and doing like a craft room makeover video. So yeah, I'm trying to not spend money unnecessarily and try, or at least when I'm spending money, trying to think about how I can make that money back. So I need to separate all of this paper into work and play. And yeah, a, a huge thank you to Trodat, Trocraft, Trotec, the Tro group <laughs> for allowing us into your space. It really was an awesome event, an awesome day, and I cannot wait for the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I also want to say a massive thank you to Jenny Spicer for organizing it, for initiating this, for going above and beyond, and really just, we love you. Well, I do, very, and I'm very grateful that you kicked this off, as it was quite a fun event, and I hope that there will be more in the future. This vlog is probably 700 hours long at this point. Very grateful for that for you watching. I'll try and be a little bit better at vlogging in the future. Subscribe if you want to see some more of my behind the scenes crafting day in the life kind of thing. And I will see you in the next one. And remember, be kind to someone today. See you soon.